So here is a perfect example of trailing stop. I opened up this cell here, right? And I had the stop loss up here. I have my take profit right here. Just a little bit more than stop loss. You, uh, Like I explained, your stop loss has to be lower than your take profit. But how the trailing stop works is, so now you're in profit going all the way down here. What you do is you take your stop loss and you place it just underneath where you, start, you started your trade. And so now you've locked in profit. Pretty much break even. If this trade was to turn around, it would go to break even right here. Instead of taking a loss, I would break even. Not even break even, 25 pips in profit. I don't like to put it in break even. I actually put 25 pips more, like right there, around that area. So now, profit is locked in between this area here. A lot of you guys might want to just close the trade right here, right? But according to my indicators, according to Stochastic and MACD, this trade is going to keep going down. MACD just barely crossed. Stochastic just barely crossed this threshold here. So it's going to keep going down all the way down here. So that means this trade is going to keep going down. That's why I put my take profit lower. I used to have it right here where this green line was. As soon as this trade reaches close to this take profit, then I'll take the trailing stop and put it here to the green line. That's how you lock in profits, guys. Perfect example right here. Hope you guys uh, understand how this works. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading a heck of a lot more training tip videos. I'm going to be explaining money management and a lot more very good tips with foreign exchange trading. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon in one of my next videos.